When I was preparing this material, I had a rather nice idea for a short movie to demonstrate to you the sort of way one might walk through nature um, listening for questions, uh, putting questions and listening for answers. So what I did is I had to do it in just a few minutes. Um, I invented a sort of scenario which was that I'd just seen a belted crow in our garden. Now that is an unusual occurrence. So I said, you know, does this, uh, is this giving me a message, this belted crow? And the symbolism of the belted crow, a bit like the magpie, is sort of you know, a bit of a trickster figure. Um, so, interesting idea. Let's have that question in our mind and I'll walk you around the garden. And um, I walked down the path and then there were two sticks crossed over like that. I put them there. Um, oh look, two sticks. They weren't there this morning. I wonder if that's telling us something. I wonder what it tells us. It could be a kiss from Mother Nature saying welcome. Or it could be, don't go here. How do I tell? Well, I'm just going to sort of stand here and hold that for a moment in my mind. Mm, I think it's saying don't go down this path. I wonder why. I wonder if there's something dangerous there. I don't know. Anyway, let's go the other way. So we walk down the other path and we discover a tree with wonderful coloured leaves that look like they're on fire. And wow. Now, that's provides the answer. It was telling us, don't go down this path. Go down the other one because we'll find something interesting. Nice. OK. And then I realised I can't use that. Can you see why? You see... If you told most people, particularly a sceptical person, that you're going to listen to a talk by a magician or an occultist or someone like that, or a guru, they would say, ah, oh, don't trust these people. I mean, at, at best, they're just deceiving themselves, but at worst, you know, they are liars, they're cheats. They will make up stories, tell you lies to deceive you, to try to make you think like them. They will fake evidence, you know. Well, that's exactly what I just did. I, uh, made up the story about the magpie, to um, the, the bird, to give you a sort of context, you know. I set up a little scene to sort of build up the story. I produced a twist at the end, having shown you something nice. And so I had lied, I would faked evidence. <laughs> I've done everything that a wicked magician is expected to do. Um, and I thought, well, this is really unfair. You see, if I hadn't called myself a magician, if I called myself an artist, say a movie director, everything I did was right. I began with a little story to sort of set the scene and, and get you in the mood. I set up a little scene which we could go and f discover, you know, and, um, and then that led me up to showing you something beautiful, these leaves, and there was a twist back to the beginning and it was all explained. Nice. Um, it wouldn't exactly win me an Oscar, well, why? Well, because there wasn't enough imagination in it. It wasn't that good. Um, but you see the, the cruelty that um, if I was a novelist or an artist or something, and I use my imagination, I present you with something wonderful, that's terrific. People applaud. But if a magician or an occultist does the same thing, oh, he's lying. It's mad. He, he's using tricks. He's trying to deceive you. Now, I think that's really unfair. And so I asked myself, why don't we apply what I've been saying to the little movie I've done? Say to people, look, I know you can explain it all the way as tricks. You can even go further, like the scientist with his atoms and molecules, and say that actually you didn't even see me on the screen. It wasn't me. It was just digital information come down from the internet. That's all it was. That's all I gave you. All the rest is subjective. But instead, let's say, well, what is the value of that subjective experience? If we forget the fact that it wasn't real and ask ourselves, was it useful? Now, some of you seeing that little movie might have, next time you go for a walk down your street or through a wood, decide to do it in that same questing spirit. Let's ask the world around us questions. Let's look and listen for answers. And you might find that it made the walk more interesting. It gave you a good experience. In which case, I would say that my movie, for all the deception and fraud and lies in it, actually was valuable. It was something worthwhile. 
by giving you a little bit of magic that makes your life bigger, better, more interesting. And that, I think, is what matters.